ஓகே ஸோ த ஃபஸ்ட் எக்ஸ்பெரிமெண்ட் இன் யோர் டிசி மெஷின்ஸ் லேப் இஸ் லோ டெஸ்ட் ஆன் டிசி சீரீஸ் மோட்டர் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த சர்க்யூட் டயக்ராம் ஃபார் யுவர் லோ டெஸ்ட் ஆன் டிசி சீரீஸ் மோட்டர் ஐல் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் நவ் ஃப்ரம் திஸ் சைட் யூ கேன் சி பாசிட்டிவ் அண்ட் நெகட்டிவ் யூஆர் கிவிங் டூ டுவெண்ட்டி வோல்ட் டிசி சப்ளை ஓகே now these switches they are called as spdts it is written as spdts it means single pole uh, double throw switch then you have two fuses 20 ampere fuses i'll tell you why you have suggested a 20 ampere fuse then you have a two point starter the terminals are indicated as el and ea el is for line and a is since it is connected to the armature of the motor and then you have a rheostat connected in series now this is a dc series motor so as you can see uh, you have series winding and you have uh, your armature armature is connected in series with a field winding then you have a, a meter connected in series and you have a voltmeter connected across the supply and as you can see since we are doing load test you can see that the output of this motor is mechanical output now mechanical so as the output of the motor is mechanical and since we are going to load the dc motor you will be connecting a brake drum to the shaft so this is your brake drum okay and you are connecting two spring balances s1 and s2 so this is your overall circuit diagram uh, so i'll ex- uh, tell you once again supply is 220 volt dc supply spdts single pole double throw switches there two fuses are connected then you have a two point starter and a rheostat this rheostat and this two point starter Uh, both are actually not necessary either one is actually necessary for protecting the um, uh, armature this is for limiting the current in the armature so since you have a starter there is no need but experimentally we are also connecting additional protection in it 8.6 ohm 16 ampere or rio starting oda connect cheyunnundu then an ammeter in series and a voltmeter in parallel to measure the current and voltage and this is the circuit diagram of dc series motor you have a brake drum and to the brake drum you are connecting uh, spring balances s1 and s2 so this is your circuit diagram now after drawing the circuit diagram next what you have to do is once uh, usually when you come to the lab you will go to the machine and then you write the machine details now how to write the machine details i'll explain it uh, by showing the machine but these are the things that you have to write while writing the machine details first is the output power of the machine either it will be given in kva or in kw so since this is a dc motor it is given in kw so 3.5 kw is our machine then speed of the machine has to be written rated speed is 1500 and then rated voltage is 220 and the rated current of the machine is 20 ampere so these are the main details that you have to note down after looking into the name plate of your machine okay below that you have to write the apparatus required so while writing the apparatus required you have to draw a tabular column the first column should uh, consist of the name of the item then second column the rating of the item or the specification of the item and third column uh, is for the number of items so as you have seen in the circuit diagram we need actually ammeter voltmeter and rheostat so that is mentioned here ammeter the rating of the ammeter required is 0 to 30 ampere ammeter because your machine is having 20 ampere while writing the machine details we have written ampere as 20 ampere so standard uh, machine rating uh, sorry meter rating available is 30 ampere so 0 to 30 ampere one number voltmeter 0 to 250 volt i have selected because your voltage of the machine is 220 volt so you have to measure 220 for that you have uh, taken a standard uh, item uh, standard voltmeter of rating 250 volt which is also required one number then you have you need a rheostat which is again one number the rating is uh, to 8.6 ohm 16 ampere and then to measure the speed we are using a tachometer that to a digital tachometer i'll show you the digital tachometer 
and uh, that also you require one number and so next is uh, after doing the experiment we have to complete the tabular column so tabular column has to be written in the beginning itself so tabular column consists of um, first column should be always when you write the tabular column first column is serial number that you know the second column is v v that is volts voltmeter reading kaanikkunnathu v ennu parayna tabular column thana theludanda varum pinna il is a uh, load current which is in ampere then n that is the speed in rpm which is measured by your digital tachometer then you have the spring balance reading spring balance reading s1 s2 you will be noting down s1 and s2 then s1 difference s2 is what is written here s1 difference s2 now uh, why s1 difference s2 is given suppose your s1 is say uh, 5 and your s2 is say 10 so when you take s1 difference s2 should not be taken as it should be 5 minus 10 you should not write it as minus 10 so that's why i have written it as difference instead of minus you will write the difference as 5 if it is 5 um if it is 10 um anengil difference 5 aayittu ezhudiya madi don't write it as minus 5 okay the next column is torque t the formula to find out torque so these the columns that are um, the first four columns that is v i n s1 and s2 so these are the columns uh, that you will fill while you are doing the experiment rest of the columns will be filled after for uh, during your calculation part so s1 difference s2 can be calculated after you write s1 and s2 t can be calculated by using the formula s1 difference s2 is obtained from this column into r into g now small r is actually the radius of the brake drum okay g is your uh, acceleration due to gravity that is 9.8 meter per second then you have output power again formula is 2 pi nt by 60 2 pi you know n is the speed in rpm that i have already marked in the tabular column t nu parayana totta munne nammal kandupidichathu divided by 60 that is obtained in watts then input power input power is calculated by simply multiplying your voltage and current that is obtained in the first two tabular columns then you have to calculate the efficiency that is percentage efficiency output power divided by input power into 100 will give you percentage efficiency so these are the this is your tabular column and after uh, drawing the tabular column you have to draw the characteristics of your dc series motor